The Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. A hand of applause to His Excellency, the Deputy President. Welcome, Your Excellency. We have had challenges because the President and his government have made a conscious decision that it is not sustainable and it is not prudent to borrow money from the banks at 14% to pay salaries. We have agreed as a government that the only way to restore the economy of this country to where President Mike Ebank left us <coughs> is to fund our budget through revenue collection. That is why uh, last month we had a slight challenge. There was a slight delay on payment of salaries because the previous administration used to borrow money from banks owned by the same leaders to pay salaries. And we have said no. We are paying salaries by collecting revenue. So there was a slight delay, but all salaries have now been paid. So we are collecting some more money. And shortly, the governors will do another disbursement to enable our counties to function. But let nobody push us to go and borrow money from banks at exorbitant rates to fund counties or to fund our current budget. What we are doing as a government is doubling our efforts in revenue collection, and we are doing that by closing all the loopholes, by digitizing revenue collection so that we close all the loopholes on tax exemption and non-collection of revenue. When we came in, the cost of Punga was 230 shillings. We have progressively, through good thinking and planning, without any subsidy, brought the cost down to 190, to 180, to 170, to 160. As we talk today, on the shelf, there are many supermarkets offering Punga at 159 shillings up to 155. And I can tell you it will continue going down, awaiting the harvest in September. And after the harvest, because of the intervention that we have done to assist our farmers with subsidized fertilizer, we intend and we believe we will be able to bring down the cost of hunger to about 130, about 120. And that is what is sustainable. We had a conversation and agreed on how to jointly deliver our products. We are joined at the heat. The success of William Ruto as president is the success of the Gadiashan Master. The failure of President William Ruto as president is the failure of Deputy President Gadiashan. Similarly, the success of your government is your success. The failure of your government is your failure. Therefore, behoves you and your government to work together collectively to succeed because both of you have a five-year social contract with the residents of your county. That contract will be renewed on successful delivery or terminated on definitive delivery. So you are in the same boat and suffer a similar fate either way. Through executive order number one of 2023, President William Ruto spelled out my roles as deputy president. A clear definition of the roles and responsibilities of the president and deputy has helped us work in a complementary and not in 